I wonder whether or not Greensill really at the end of the day was a victim of balance sheet pressure. Are you that. seeing balance sheet pressure in other funds that you're dealing with? Uh, look, I won't comment on on, no. on Greensill and I'll, I'll let the, the viewers sort of like, you know, come to their conclusions uh, from reading yeah. the paper. But but you, you are right in terms of the negative carry that a lot of funds uh, have, you know, they're, they're washed with funds, they're sitting there, it's it's earning nothing and they've got to sort of make a, you know, a 6 7 10% return for their investors. So, so the good ones know when to invest. Um, and when to return their money back to their investors, and and obviously the ones who who are pressured to sort of like invest in anything, um, yeah, suffer those consequences. Um, but you know the the the, the negative uh, rates just don't help. And your your point about sort of like the government, you know, competing. I mean, uh, you know, uh, unless they know exactly how to sort of like compete, I, I find it very hard for them. So you know, it's easy for them just to dish out money, like you know, like the Feds and and, and the RBA, so sort of like just you know, doing a Q, QE. So um, so that's just a, a simple but quite a blunt um, way of sort of like you know, distributing cash. Uh, doesn't help, you know, investors and sort of like compete. Um, and um, you know, I, I, I don't know what the um, what 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 the uh, solution is is to that, um, you know? But certainly, there's as you say, there's a lot of cash floating around. 